Emmy and I'm a makeup artist and a licensed cosmetologist and we're gonna do a Q&A about me. So the first question is, when did I first go viral? So I guess my first like viral video was on TikTok and it was a video of me like ripping a bald cap off of somebody in makeup school. So I don't know if you've ever seen that video but it's literally like me ripping the silicone like off of her head and then like her hair appears so everyone thought that was like crazy i guess because like i'm bald and then everyone thought like i was wearing a bald cap but i don't know that was my first viral video okay so next question is what is your favorite part of social media like brainstorming filming collaborating my favorite part on social media is probably filming just because I have my studio and I like to sit down in my makeup studio and kind of like do my makeup videos like kind of all together so I'll make like multiple videos in one so it's like a couple hour process and I think that's the most fun part because it's where I can get most creative but yeah what do you find most challenging about social media in today's world? Um, I find it really challenging to post and feel confident about posting just because so many people like break you down and say so many negative things but as long as you just like block all the haters out and like not care about that it's really simple just to like not worry about it but I feel like that's the most challenging for a lot of people just because there's just so much hate and it's hard to like process the hate all in one but I feel like that's the only hard part. I think social media is actually really, really good for today's world. It's helping a lot of people. What advice would you give your past self? Um, the advice I would give my past self is to just do it. Literally the Nike logo. Like, honestly, if I just were to do things and not think about them, I would probably, like, reach all my dreams so much quicker. But, of course, I'm like everyone else. I get so nervous about doing things. So, it's really hard to just do things. But I wish I could tell my past to just do it and just to start social media because I always wanted to but I was just so nervous and I didn't like talking to the camera but if I could just tell myself to do it and that it'll be okay then that is what I would tell my younger self. What do you find most rewarding in what you do? I find that holding a platform like having the people behind my videos like the people who actually watch my videos is the most rewarding so the the fans the people who follow me like my the people that I surround my platform like that is the most rewarding things because it's like you get so much feedback from people and it's people who actually love what you're posting and like love what you do so the rewarding part is like after posting and like seeing all like the great comments and the great feedback from people who love you I think that is the most amazing thing ever what would be the one superpower you would choose to have? The one superpower I would choose to have, probably mind reading. Like if I was like a secret mind reader, I'd probably want to read people's minds without them knowing. Cause then I can just be like, oh, like just know what you're thinking. And then, you know, <laughs> I feel like that's just a cool superpower. <laughs> What is something most people who follow you don't know about you? Um, a lot of people probably don't know that I have like massive anxiety. <laughs> and I know a lot of people have anxiety, but I don't talk about my anxiety on social media just because like I have so much anxiety, so I just don't like talking about it. But I have a lot of anxiety. Probably not social anxiety, but like I have anxiety about like, like I'm a hypochondriac and I get anxiety when like I get sick and I think I'm gonna die. So like that's probably like something a lot of people don't know about me. <laughs> How do you like to spend your spare time? Um, I like to spend my spare time doing like active things. Like I like to go on hikes. I like to meal prep, do like healthy things, like prep healthy meals. I like to go to the gym. Um, I just like to do like a, like a health routine. So on my spare time, that is what I do. If you could find out one thing about your future, what would it be? Um, probably where I'm gonna live. I would, I just like wanna know like in 10 years where I'm gonna be, like literally. Like I wanna know if I'm gonna be traveling around, if I'm gonna be like stationed somewhere, like in a home with a bunch of dogs. I don't know, I wanna know like what state I'll be in or what country I'll be in. Like I just, I wanna know where I'll be living. What are your favorite shows to watch on Netflix? So my all time favorite show is The Vampire Diaries. I've actually watched it six times. Um, uh, like the fifth and sixth time I kind of like skipped through because I would I, like go to a different season and watch my favorite season. But I love The Vampire Diaries and I could watch it like 12 more times. 
what is your favorite birthday memory? My favorite birthday memory is when my boyfriend asked me out. It was the birthday of 2020. Um, we had like a party and we just like hung out and stuff. And honestly, it was just so fun. I don't know. It was just a memorable, memorable birthday. I just loved that birthday. It was September of 2020. Um, what is your biggest pet peeve? This one's kind of weird, but like my pet peeve is when I'm drinking a smoothie and if I don't drink it within 10 minutes and it starts melting, I won't drink it. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like it when the smoothie turns like liquidy, it like grosses me out. It's like my pet peeve. So when someone else is drinking a smoothie and they let their smoothie melt, I like look at them and I'll be like, you gonna drink that? You gonna drink that? I'll be like, your smoothie's melting. And they're like, oh, okay. I'm like, mm, pet peeve. Can't do the smoothie melting thing. Okay, what are your goals for the next three years? Um, so my goals for the next three years are I want to start a makeup line, I want to start a clothing line, and I just overall want to just grow my platform and grow a community of people who just love what I post, love what I do, and support me so that I can support them too. I want to support small businesses, I want to create a business, so I just want business to be in my future. So yeah, that ends the Q&A. Uh, thank you for watching, and maybe you learned a little bit more about me, so I love you guys, and follow me on Instagram at Emmy Combs, E-M-M-Y-C-O-M-B-S-S. -S.